Well, it kind of looks like a cat. You can see the ears, the eyes, the nose, and down below for the mouth is a double dunk plank. Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna test out a brand new mousetrap design that's currently one of the most advertised mousetraps on the market today. If you go to Amazon or eBay and type in mousetrap, you'll see hundreds of listings for this crazy copy. Even though it's made over in China, it's basically a copy of the flip and slide mousetrap, a trap I featured over a month ago, and that video went viral. That was one of the best mousetraps I've ever tested out. I'm still using it, and my flip and slide mousetrap, I've caught over 200 mice. So many of those were being sold that Chinese companies wanted to jump on the trend. They stole my video, used it for advertising, and made copies. Most of the copies were blatant reproductions, but this is different. It's actually a different design with two planks, so I'm giving them props for coming up with their own mousetrap. Because there's so many on the market, I decided to buy one, and we're going to test it out side by side with the original flip and slide and this new Chinese copy. So let's take it out of the box and see what it looks like. There's many different pieces, so we'll put it together like a Lego set. They snap on together. We have the sides, the cat face, ramps, and planks. These side pieces just snap in. The plastic's kind of flimsy and these tabs don't line up very well. It's hard to get them in place. There we go. Okay, this is the lid that fits on the bucket and the two planks fit inside. Oh, backwards. That's the bait tray in the middle. Now I am concerned about quality. The plastic looks very low quality. The cut's not an exact fit. I have a feeling they were in such a hurry to get it to the market to steal the momentum of the flip and slide that they didn't test it out. But we're gonna test it out today. Let's put this on the bucket and see how it works. We'll go ahead and clip our trap onto the bucket. We'll place some fabric in there to give them a soft landing. Let's see what our white spotted mouse thinks of the trap. Well, that did work well. Let's get another mouse and see if it works again. This one's being a lot more cautious. So one problem I see is they can hang on the solid part and get to the bait tray. Unlike the flip and slide where they have to go all the way in to get the bait. We'll see what the wild mice do, if we catch them, or if they learn how to beat it. The pet mice, one of them walked in and got caught, so it can work, but the other one learned the tipping point. Let's go set up the motion cameras and do a head-to-head -head competition between the original flip and slide made in the USA and a copy made in China. Let's go see which one catches more mice.
Well, as you could see from the motion camera footage, last night we caught mice with both traps, but based on what I saw, the version from China was full of failures. That's really for two reasons. First of all, it's built as cheaply as possible with very flimsy plastic. The planks don't sit well on the lid. They don't pivot well. Basically, these are intended to catch people more than mice. The second reason is this huge design flaw with the short planks. It seems like a good idea having a double plank, but in reality, the mice can reach the bait while hanging on the side. They can fill the trap tip, and it didn't take long for them to learn not to go out there. We did catch a few, but this new design is not the best version. So if you want my all-time recommended trap, I recommend the flip and slide. But unfortunately, 99.9% .9 of the traps out there are cheap copies made in China. If you want the genuine trap made in the USA, I'll put a link down below. But avoid any of the cheap copies, they're just not built well. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and thanks to all the Patreons. I'm posting new exclusive content every week, and I really appreciate the support. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 700 videos on YouTube, and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.